CFP's Renee Rogers is standing by with more on this and some of what we learned because uh, law enforcement was giving us a lot of information, Renee, on the operation and some of the takeaways. Yes, that's right, Todd. Uh, it's really a significant uh, recovery on the part of police as auto thefts in Canada rise. Really, no one is immune, but uh, Ontario and Quebec are seeing uh, the highest number of auto thefts. So uh, today we heard from OPP on exactly where police looked for these vehicles and, and what they found. Take a listen. Between December 12th, 2023 and March 29th, 2024, 390 shipping containers were opened here in Montreal, resulting in 598 stolen vehicles being recovered as a direct result of Project Vector. The recovered vehicles have a potential value of approximately $34.5 million. Yeah, so Project Vector uh, was the name of this investigation, Todd. And uh, police say the vast majority of the vehicles that were recovered were stolen out of Ontario, specifically Toronto and the surrounding areas. Not a huge surprise, as I mentioned, uh, Ontario and Quebec seeing some of the highest vehicle theft rates in the country, both seeing jumps around 50%. In Toronto alone, between 2015 and 2022, uh, vehicle thefts rose by 300%. So it is a major problem. And uh, police say that these vehicles have been connected with various types of crimes, such as carjackings and home invasions. And uh, police say, as you mentioned there, that this is really um, the work of of organized crime, both within Canada and beyond. And this is all resulting in about a billion dollars worth of costs per year uh, for Canadian taxpayers and insurance policyholders, Todd. Mm. And we do know there are things people can do, Renee, you know, at the very beginning of this whole process, like in other words, to stop your car from getting stolen to begin with. Yes, that's right. So uh, a report came out last year from the Canadian Finance and Leasing Association. Uh, it did a, a very, very vast report on where cars were being stolen, where they're going. Uh, it also gave a lot of recommendations. And uh, it says the first step is educating the public on some different things. One of them is to keep a key fob in a signal blocking container. You can get these. Uh, they stop thieves from being able to uh, get to that signal and copy uh, the key fob. Another thing you can do is use a locking system for uh, basically your car's computer. It's called the onboard diagnostic port. And thieves use these to reprogram key fobs. You can get a lock to lock that down to uh, prevent them from even getting in. There's locks you can get for your steering wheel that provides a visible deterrent. There's also a vehicle tracking device as air tags or GPS. But uh, Todd, I've spoken to people who've had their vehicles stolen and they have told me that these air tags, essentially thieves know uh, that people are putting them on their vehicles and they're ripping them off. So some people are putting more than one uh, in the hope that, you know, the thief will find the one then then hopefully the others will remain intact. Uh, police say this is a great way for you to be able to help them uh, recover your stolen vehicle. They say never go after it yourself. Uh, however, you could find yourself in a very dangerous situation. CTV's Renee Rogers joining us from our national newsroom with some good news finally for police when it comes to the issue of car theft in Canada. Thanks, Renee. Oh, you're welcome.